Jenny Sales, and I'm going to teach you how to make cowboy coffee upgraded uh, from Texas. Uh, cowboy coffee is really the purest, truest way to drink your coffee. And you don't need any kind of equipment other than a carafe and hot water and your coffee. And today I'm going to make mocha java coffee. And uh, mocha java has nothing to do with chocolate. When people say mocha, you, you think that means chocolate. It doesn't. It means that that is an ancient coffee that came through the port of, mo of mocha. It's the one I am making is from Austin, Texas, from a company called Third Coast. And, ooh, I love it when I go to Austin and we go buy coffee beans that smell so good and the guys and, and people who work there just make it great. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is four cups of spring water in this glass water kettle. And so I'm turning that on to let it get hot. Then I'm going to take uh, my Nutribullet and use it as my coffee grinder. I will be scooping in one big round scoop of whole coffee beans and then I will put the lid on and the way I do it, I count to 12 and I do that twice because I like my coffee beans finely ground. Um, so I count to 12. I take it out and I shake it up. And some people like their coffee uh, more coarsely ground. I like mine finely ground. I want all the flavor out of it that I can get. And at this point, I use an all glass carafe made by Chemex. And I like to use all glass for everything because you get no metal flavors, you get nothing but the pure coffee flavor. And so I just tap this in here and then my water is good and hot. It will be plenty hot. Now all you will do to make your coffee, it's nothing but water and the coffee bean and you stir it up and you leave it and let it just sit and it will settle on its own. It will steep and settle on its own. And then when you pour it into your coffee cups, you won't need a filter or anything else because all of the grinds will be down at the bottom and you will just get the pure, rich, wonderful flavor of your cowboy coffee. I'm doing this now. I'm taking it up and pouring it. Then I take the spoon. It's important that you do stir it well. Stir it well and then just leave it. When there is foam all the way across, it's not ready. Whenever it's smooth across the top, you'll know that it has settled and it's ready to be poured. Our coffee mugs are made in the USA, and I'm so proud of them, I love them, they're older. These were made probably late 60s, early 70s, anyway, that's, that's when they were purchased. And they are made by the Louisville Stoneware Company in Kentucky, uh, USA, and they're just beautiful, and, and I, I enjoy them a lot. Even if I do not put the uh, lid on there, there are no grinds. Okay, so here they are, and now here's the beautiful thing about cowboy coffee. 
You don't have to take apart your coffee maker. You don't have to clean anything up. Uh, you don't have to do anything but just empty out the grinds when you're finished. Empty out the grinds in your trash um, or your disposal. Rinse this out. Put it in your dishwasher. That's it. It's all. And, um, and of course, wash this. That's it. There is just nothing else. It's the easiest, simplest. You don't have a lot of complicated equipment, and you talk about inexpensive. I mean, all you're doing is water and the ground coffee in a glass carafe. It's fantastic. So, here's to you from Texas. Great Mocha Java coffee. Cowboy coffee.